Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yesterday I was sitting down and planning a way that we can get a play area into our small space for Zane. He's almost six months old and I feel like the toys are just gonna keep on piling up and we're gonna get more and more stuff. So I wanted to get ahead of this and I placed an order online for Ikea Click and Collect. So today we're gonna go and pick up the stuff that I got and I can't wait to show you how it looks when it's all done. We have this terrible eyesore of a chaise in our living room. My husband has absolutely loved it ever since we moved in and I've absolutely hated it. I think it's the most hideous, tacky thing. I can finally get rid of that ugly, ugly, ugly chaise. I just finished getting ready and my mother-in-law came over to watch the babies so we can go and pick up all the stuff that I got. I'll show you what the space looks like now and what the chaise looks like just so you have like a visual of what I'm talking about. So here's the chaise and right now we have this little situation in the corner which is what we were using for Zachary school temporarily. Right now we also have like this little jumper here in the middle so I can't wait to do something with this. The way that it works is I did like a time slot that we can go and pick up the stuff that I ordered. So I chose between 6 and 8 p.m. so it gave my husband enough time to finish his work. So now it's 6 30 and we're gonna make our way over now. Okay, so we just got to Ikea and there's a whole bunch of signs that are telling us click and collect and we're following all the signs. So there's a sign over here that's giving us steps so we have to call them and I guess they'll bring the stuff out depending on what our parking spot number is. They'll come on up and bring the stuff. Go ahead and give them a call. Okay, so never mind, I lied. You're not supposed to call them. You're supposed to text them with your order number and your name and what else? Your order number, your name, and your parking spot number. And apparently they're supposed to bring it out to your car. I'm not exactly sure if they're gonna just stick it in the car or they're gonna bring it by the car and you're supposed to put the stuff in, but I'm hoping that it's pretty contactless because I mentioned in my other videos that we try to keep very isolated because my son has asthma and my father-in-law has a heart condition. So we're just kind of waiting now in a limbo state waiting for the IKEA employees or at least somebody to acknowledge the fact that we're here so let's wait we were kind of chit-chatting with the car beside us and they were saying basically that they're gonna text us when everything is being brought out that our order is ready to be picked up um, so we're still waiting. Never in a million years did I think that we would be going to Ikea. We used to come all the time and it would be like a really fun family event, but now it's so sad. Everything is all barriered up and I don't know, it just doesn't feel like Ikea. My masked stranger in the passenger seat. It seems like there's still a lot of people that are going into the store, but there's equally the same amount of people that are waiting in the click and collect. So it's pretty reassuring that people are, I guess, still staying home and staying isolated. So, okay, so we got the message from IKEA. It says, Thank you, your order will be out shortly. I don't know if that's an actual person that wrote that or if that's a robot, but we'll take it either way. Okay, update, they brought the stuff over and the Ikea employee is not the one that's putting it in the car. My husband's gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we just finished picking up everything from Ikea and now we're grabbing a much needed coffee and then we're gonna go home and set everything up. Hopefully the baby will give us some time to set it up so we can see it all completed today, but more than likely it'll be all done tomorrow. Actually, knowing my husband, he is very particular to finish a job when you start it, so we will probably see everything all <laughs> set up tonight. Adele was saying that the boxes are really heavy, so it's probably gonna be like a two trip sort of deal. So we'll see when we get home. See you in the next clip. Good morning, guys. So we are back from Ikea and it's a new day. Last night, Adele and I, we removed the chaise lounge, as you can probably see from the background. So today we're gonna eat breakfast. I'm gonna have some coffee and then we're gonna go ahead and build the shelving unit. These guys are gonna be my helpers. <laughs>
Okay, so we just got finished building all the shelves. And I ended up putting down this like skip hop carpet, which we're waiting to unbend and we're gonna throw out some other furniture and I will check back in when we're ready to show the finished product. Okay, so that's it. We finished building all of the shelves for Zane's playroom. Um, overall, the click and collect process was very easy. It was as simple as placing our order online. We just went and picked it up. Right now, most of the bins are pretty empty because he doesn't have very many toys to fill them up with, but I'm sure that problem will be solved pretty quickly. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.